Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, You Need Tarot. This is going to be your June 14th to the 18th messages. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you would like a personal, how you can purchase one will be down in the description box. So this is for Leo, June 14th to the 18th, 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So Leos, let's pull you one crystal card that will be significant for you for the week of June 14th to the 18th. Or for some of you, the whole month of June. So, let's pull a crystal. What is the significant crystal for Leo's? Please, Spirit Guys, Angels, Universe. Leo, Summer, Mars, and Venus for the month or the week of June 14th to the 18th for Leo. A significant crystal, please, for Leo. One significant crystal for Leo, please. One significant crystal for my Leo's, the lion. Give me something for my lions, please. Thank you. We have flexibility. Brazilian, uh, Brazilian night. All right, Brazilian nights. Flexibility. So maybe you need to be more flexible this week. That could be around money, family, friends, whatever. And then spiritual awakening. So maybe you need to be more, oh, and then rite of passage, wow. So some of you could be having a spiritual awakening. You need to be more open to source, to spirituality. Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing. Um, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius here. All right. All right. Let's see. Do I have to sneeze? All right, what's the messages here for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for Leo's. Week of June 14th to the 18th for my Leo's, please. Spirit, God's angels, universe. What is the messages for Leo's? June 14th to the 18th for my Leo's. Please, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The lion, give me something for the lions. And the lionettes, please. What's the messages for Leo's? June 14th to the 18th. For Leo. We got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So, um, somebody could be giving, it could be an Aquarius on the Earth side. Leo's, but somebody could be giving you, maybe you're getting a pay raise at work for some of you. Yeah. An increase in pay for others of you. This could be um, patronism. Maybe you're getting... <clears throat> Pay for your work here, or some kind of charity, or some kind of payout. All right, but or somebody could be. I'm hearing token of love, so somebody could be giving you some money as a token of their love. All right, so that could be for some of you here. All right, let's see. What is the six of pentacles for Leo's? But a lot of patronism, getting paid well for your work, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, ten of pentacles. Wow, an increase in pay here. Big money this week, Leos. What's the Six of Pentacles for Leos? What's the Six of Pentacles for Leos? Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like somebody... Um, some This is a way for somebody to get you back at all cost. Five of Swords. It could be an Aquarius. I told you I was here in Aquarius. And then the King of Swords and the Five of Swords came out. All right. So this is be somebody, Leos, that want to, um, th that betrayed you. And this is their way of saying they're sorry, okay, without really having to say sorry. But I feel like this person plays a lot of mind games and you have your guard up against this person. Yeah, this could be your boss as well for some of you. So let's see, what is this? What is the Ten of Swords for... Leo's, what is the Ten of Swords for Leo's? June 14th to the 18th. Ten of Swords for Leo. What is the Ten of Swords, please? Okay, the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. So, I'm, you're, I'm hearing that you're gaining a following this week, Leo's. But yeah, Two of Cups and the Judgment. Somebody wants to reconcile or they're... Are they they're in love with you here? I feel like somebody wants attention from you.
You're definitely getting in the following here. You're definitely getting paid for your work. Okay. I feel like people love you and what you do for work here. But yeah, I feel like somebody's coming back in to reconcile with you here. You're really, you're really winning here. You're really on top doing your thing this week. What's the Six of Wands? What's the Six of Wands for Leo? What's the Six of Wands, please? For Leo, what's the Six of Wands? Yeah, we got the Six of Swords. So Six, Six. Some of you could be... Uh, we, yeah, the star card is here. Aquarius again. I knew I heard Aquarius for something, for some reason. Okay, so some of you could actually be a star, highly influential online here. You're definitely gaining a following. You're definitely getting patronized. And for others of you, you could be moving or relocating or traveling or somebody's coming towards you. It could be this fire sign. Someone's very arrogant here. This is somebody that betray you over and over again, and they're coming in very arrogant. They're coming towards you very arrogant. Somebody wants to um, heal a situation with you, though. Yeah, it definitely could be a fire sign. We have the lovers and the justice and the eight of cups. Is this somebody you walked away from or somebody that walked away from you? Okay, yeah, we have the justice and Libra back to back. So it's, it definitely could be a Libra here. Or you could have this in your chart. Wow, I don't know why I heard this, but somebody's finding out that they're pregnant. Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Or some of you could already be pregnant with a girl. All right, what's the, what's the Six of Swords? What's the Six of Swords, please? Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. So you're going to be celebrating here. Maybe you're, maybe you're taking a trip. Or hanging out with friends or you're going on a trip with your friends maybe somewhere that's like six hours away for some of you it could be 12 hours away or six to ten hours but yeah you're really celebrating you're really doing your thing it could be you it could be three you and three of your friends here you have the seven seven of wands I feel like you, you, you're rejecting. Yeah, the King of Cups. All right, Leo. So I feel like you're really rejecting this water sign or this water sign wants to reconcile with you or this fire sign. They may even want to go on a trip with you. But I really feel like you have your guard up against this person. Some of you could have your guard up against fake friends or people that's pretending to be your friend. But they're only doing that because maybe you're in the spotlight or something like that. What is the king? What's the seven of wands and the king of cups for Leo? Yeah, the sun card. This is you, Leo. Yeah. There could be a water sign that you have your guard up. It could be a Scorpio. All right. You have your guard up against and you're happy. You feel protected. You're happier without dealing with this person because this person is like, um, this person could do too much. Yeah, this person could be very argumentative or very just um, in and out or whatever I'm hearing here. Yeah, this person is stuck on you with the Eight of Swords. Okay. They can't seem to let you go. Yeah, you're very indifferent and closed off towards this person, Leo. All right, yeah, in the tower. In the Ace of Wands. In the Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. So I feel like somebody's coming in wanting to uh, wanting to communicate, give you an offer, or, or, or say something, or send you long love letters or poems or whatever this is. They want forgiveness or a second chance. They're very attracted to you. They want a passionate new beginning, but you're just unsure. You're just like, no. You're not, you're not, you're not sure about this person at all. Why are you two of swords, Leo? Why are you two of swords? Yeah, three of swords. Libra energy is here. That's double Libra. It could be dealing with a double Libra because you don't trust this person. This person is broke. Now you're protective of your heart because this person has done damage to you ten of swords betrayed you several times 
All right, and you just do not trust this person and their energy. And this person is really laying it on thick, like coming in, really wanting you to know how much they feel about you, writing you all these poems. They love you. They're in love with you. I mean, this is really going to take you by surprise. You're going to be like, what? I don't feel like you see this coming. Yeah, because this is somebody who, yeah, three of wands. This person can live at a distance from you or be online. But, the, but this communication is coming in, though. Yes, Page of Wands. They're definitely communicating with you. They're definitely taking action towards you this week, Leo. Like, literally. What is the Eight of Swords? You're very, like, yeah, the star card. Yeah. I'm hearing abandonment issues. Somebody could have abandonment issues. But, yeah, some of you are is an actual star. Very highly influential on any given platform. Highly celebrated here with the Six of Wands and Three of Cups. Something you definitely do online. I'm hearing YouTube. Okay. But yeah, look at your, oh, wow. Okay, definitely could be dealing with a Libra with the Justice and the Empress next to each other. Somebody's very in love with you, okay? They want to offer you something. You're going to be making a lot of money. Lots of money this week, Leo. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Lots of opportunities. Money just, just flowing. Your money is coming in fast. Just flowing, Leos. Non-stop. Okay. Very comfortable. Like I said, some of you are pregnant. But here's somebody come, Leo, wanting to reconcile. I don't feel like you, I feel like you're very skeptical. You're very indecisive about this decision here because somebody here. You just got your guard up because you feel like somebody tried to trap you or you feel like somebody's playing games or they're trying to leave you stuck or trapped or whatever. And you just ain't with that shit, just period. What is all this down here? Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ace, Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, and then Ace of Wands. What's the secret? What's the moon? Ace of Swords, another Ace. Whatever secret is coming out, you're gonna get, get clarity about this. What is the Ace of Swords? What is being hit? What is this clarity? What is the Ace of Swords? That somebody is juggling you, or what's the Ace of Swords? You have Five of Cups and the King Queen of Swords. Okay, there is Libra again. Yeah, five of cups in the moon. Somebody's very, 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 very um, unsure and back and forth. This is somebody that's in and out of your life. Somebody's very depressed here. What's the moon in the five of cups? Because they want this new beginning with you. Moon in the five of cups. Yeah, seven of pentacles. They're looking back on their behavior, how they juggled you or played games. You had a death card. This is definitely a Scorpio. Okay. What's this over here? Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Six of Wands. Yep, Death Card, a Scorpio. Betrayed you. Now they want to come in with some kind of offer. Yep, Six of Cups. Definitely a water sign. Okay, they want to reconcile. This is someone from your past. Yep, they see you doing well. You're a star. You're on top of your shit. You're paid. You're comfortable. You're independent. Okay, now they want to rush in. They could even DM you. All right, you have a Knight of Pentacles. All right, they've thought about how to come in. Yeah, I'm a higher font. You could be somebody very spiritual, a spiritual guru of some sort. But now they want to come in with this commitment or this honesty or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, they watch you on your YouTube. A lot of you have a YouTube. They stalk it. They watch everything. Yes, here's the Empress. This is you with the Justice. Yeah. Yep. What's the Seven of Swords here, though? What's the Seven of Swords in the Empress? What is the Seven of Swords in the Empress? Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So some of you could be going through a court case 
over a child. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. If that's the case, if there's a, a legal situation, you're going to get this money for this child. Okay, Leo. So believe that. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You're going to get your wish fulfilled, period. I have the Nine of Cups and the Star here. Double wish fulfillment. So make a wish whenever I see those two cards together. Yeah, things are going to go in your favor, Will of Fortune. Just period. Okay. So what's the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords over here? I feel like you can't. You can't trust somebody here. What is this? Yeah, the emperor in the world. What is this? What's the emperor? So this could be the mother and father of a child or two people that are married. All right. Yeah. Definitely could be that. But I feel like this child's father is a liar. They've been lying about money or lying about legal matters or whatever this is. Yeah. I said lying about money and that is what it is. That's for some of you. They're lying about the money they have. They do have money to take care of their child, this child, but they haven't been. Okay, well, courts is coming up. There's going to be an end to that karma world card. Okay, yeah. And that's for some of you. Yeah, but somebody just feels like you're a good decision. They want to move towards you here. Uh, Leos, they, they want to reconcile. This person's, you have to watch them now. Because they're not completely honest. What's the messages for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 14th to the 18th. But somebody, you have every ace in the deck here. All right, somebody wants to renew something with you. Just period. They want to be with you. Renewal. All right. They want to renew the situation. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 14th to the 18th. 2021 for Leos, June 14th to the 18th for Leos. Okay, we have a broken ring, part, um, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So you could be parting ways with someone this week, or you did part ways with them already. This could have already happened, or it's going to be. Birth, sorrow over loss. Yeah, somebody's going to be very, very sorry to lose you. We have the five of cups here, or they are sorry that they lost you. Heartbroken, sad, mourning. Okay. Then we have broken bridge. Yep, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. You could be dealing with a um, Pisces because I kind of feel like they got these same cards. Both these broken cards they got. Okay, so it's unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Yeah. This is for Leo. Leo. All right, we have ear, good news. So you're going to be receiving some good news. All right. Even through all of this, you're going to be receiving some good news. What is the ear card? What is the ear card for Leo, June 14th to the 18th? What is this ear? We have coins, okay? Money will be coming to you, okay? So you're going to get good news about money. All right, and then crown, honor and respect will come to you. So that's what I... See here, like a lot of people are, are respecting you, looking up to you, patronizing you, wanting your business. The higher fun is here. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people are looking up to you here. All right. So, yeah, even through these broken um, parting ways with someone and um, unsuccessful outcome to a problem, you're going to get good news regarding money. All right. Somebody, I feel like this is somebody else's energy. They're sad because they're not getting what they want from you. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like it's going to be a good week for you, Leos. Okay, you got two wish fulfillment cards, a sun card. That's a good week. Six of wands, three of cups. Okay, I see your money doing well as well. You have an emperor, king of pentacles around you here. You're doing well. So those are the messages I have for you, Leo. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also share this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.